Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to securely erase your Mac. Now a lot of people assume that if you reinstall the operating system you're actually erasing your computer and all the files on it, but that's not really the case. Files still exist even after you do a reinstall of the OS. Even though you don't see them, they're still on the drive in uh, a hidden way. And people who want to access those files if they have ulterior motives could get a hold of those files and do some damage to you. So you definitely don't want to be selling your computer or even a hard drive and not erase it securely, especially if it's not going to a family member or etc. So how do you do it? It's real simple. The first thing you have to do is start up your computer in recovery mode. The way you do that is you hold the command key, which is this key down here, and the R key for recovery. You hold these two keys down at the same time, the command and the R key, until you see the Apple menu coming up and eventually um, you'll get to a window like the one I'm showing you behind. You can release the command and the R key once you see the Apple coming up and you'll get to a window like this. So what do we have here? We have an item called Disk Utility here. Now, why are we starting up in recovery mode? Very simple. You really can't erase a disk unless you're not booting from it. So the recovery mode is a kind of a little hidden partition on your computer that you can boot off of and this gives you the ability to erase everything but the recovery partition obviously. But the recovery partition is there for something like repairing. It's also not a bad idea to know how to do this because if you're having problems in your OS and you boot in recovery mode you can always use disk utility to also repair or reinstall an OS. So it's a really good place to get started. Anyway, when you get to this screen, what you would do is click on Disk Utility. Now the Disk Utility application that you see here is no different than the Disk Utility application that uh, you have in your computer. So if you go to Go, just remember for those of you who would like to know, you go to Go Utilities and look for Disk Utility in here you'll see it and that's it right over here. So it's the same application that's running so it's really no different. Some of my other videos I showed you how to partition in this. Well today we're going to show you how to completely erase. Well let's take a look at what we see here on the left. I have an SSD drive that's 251 gigabytes. These two Yosemite and Maverick are partitions on that drive. Then I have an external drive that has uh, an actual um, one partition on it called Raspberry Pi. So let's take a look at how these appear to be different when you're trying to erase them. Now let's assume I've booted into recovery mode holding down the command R and I've clicked on disk utility from this menu over here and now I'm going to click on the erase tab and as you can see these options are grayed out when I'm here because I'm actually not booted into recovery mode so I'm on the main drive. When I'm on the main drive and my OS is running on Yosemite, these options are grayed out. But Maverick, which is a second partition on the drive, I am not booted into. And as you can see, I do have an erase feature. Now, if it's just a partition and I click erase, this will erase it, but in a very different manner than if it wasn't on the boot drive. So let's take a look at uh, this drive which is an external drive and as you can see I have this additional option called security options. Let's click on that. Here you have an option to do it the fastest way which is less secure or the most secure. It, it talks about how many passes of zeros it puts on it if you take a look through here. Usually one pass is good enough but if you want to be extra cautious you can go to three pass and you can see it right here. If it's really important data, you have credit card information on there or whatever, you definitely want to go to the most secure. And as you can see, this option meets the U.S. Department of Defense. So that's as secure as you can get. However, each of these options take longer, obviously, to erase because they're doing more overwriting. So I would recommend at least going to the one time over here. Um, and if it's really uh, important data that you really don't want to get into the wrong hands and you're really selling this, take the extra one and do the three pass. It's probably the better and more secure one. But as you can see, um, you select it there and once you select those security options, you click erase over here. This will erase and reformat the disk. So you'll never get that back. So if there's anything that you wanted on there, you definitely want to back it up um, and put it somewhere else before you erase it. Now. 
Once the whole hard drive is erased and the security options are done, you might want to go back here and then reinstall an OS. Now you can again reboot into recovery mode, but you won't need to because you're already in the recovery partition. So once Disk Utility has finished all of its um, installation of erasing, basically, not installation, but erasing, you can then reinstall the OS over here and then you're giving out or selling a computer that doesn't have any of your data on it. Well, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can do this also on a hard drive. As I was showing you, that was a thumb drive that I had in there. So you have to think about these things even on your little external drives. You don't realize that you have files on there that you're not really erasing securely. So if you want to, just keep this method in mind. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for listening. And good luck selling your old computers and giving away your old hard drives. Like the video and join my channel, which I give Mac tips every single week. Thanks for listening.